welcome back to my channel so today's makeup look I created this very neutral glam for you guys and it was so easy to create so if you're interested in this look then just please keep on watching so starting off with skin prep I'm gonna be taking the rose water and I'm gonna spray that all over my skin to make sure the serum and moisturizer gets locked in a little bit better and this serum is actually from like a little booklet you have to like order it. I don't know if they have it in stores, but I'm really liking it. Now for moisturizer, I'm taking the Philosophy Take a Deep Breath Moisturizer. And I've been using this for quite a while now, and I really, really like it. It keeps my dry skin very moisturized and hydrated. And now with the Murad Acne Spot Treatment, I'm going to be applying that. And I feel the benzoyl peroxide in it helps very well with the inflammation and everything. I see a difference right away as soon as I apply it. And now with the Maybelline Baby Skin, I'm gonna be applying that on my pores, which is mainly like my T-zone in the center of my cheeks. And also I'm gonna be like dabbing that in. The silicone base really helps fill in those pores. Moving on to eyes, I'm gonna be taking Max Painterly Paint Pot, which is so weird because I usually use a soft ochre, but I wanted to try something else today. And as always with the brush, and then I like to go in with my fingers just to make sure everything is nice and blended. The Too Faced Semi Sleep Palette, I'm going to be taking that like bone color shadow and I'm just going to be applying that all over my eyelids to make sure the primer is nice and set. And removing the scotch tape from the back of my hand to make sure the tape is not so sticky when we apply it to the corner of our eyelids. It's basically going to go up to my eyebrow. With my Morphe M441 blending brush, I'm going to be taking the color Mousse. And I'm going to be using that as the first transition color. Blending that back and forth in my crease. With the Lorac Pro Palette, I'm going to be picking up the color taupe with the same Morphe blending brush. And it was a little bit darker than the first color we applied. And it's just going to give a gradient effect on the crease. And with the color Sable and Espresso with the same brush again, I'm going to be focusing that on my outer corners. Mainly like placing that on top of the tape, really. And making sure that's nice and blended. And I'm bringing it also a little bit like if it would be eyeliner in the outer corner. And you just want to make sure to keep blending. And after that's done, you just want to remove the tape and you have a very nice and clean edge. And just curling your lashes to prep for mascara and the falsies. And for lashes, I'm going to be taking the Flitter Lashes in the style Prestige. And I'm going to be applying that with the House of Lashes Blue, the clear one. And I applied that off camera so it could be a little bit quicker. And as always for foundation, taking the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. And I'm going to be blending that all out with my Real Technique Stamp Sponge. For concealer, I took the Alley Girl Pro Concealer in the color Classic Ivory. And the applicator on this concealer made it very easy for me to clean up the edge of my eyeshadow. And again, blending that out with my damp Real Technique sponge. And to set my whole face, I used the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And with a smaller brush, I applied that underneath my eyes. And then I grabbed a big fluffy brush to just set the rest of my face with that. And for contour, I took the Hula Bronzer by Benefit with the little brush it comes with and I'm just going to be applying that on my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose and a little bit on my jawline. And for this look I wanted to keep it a little bit more natural you can say and I didn't use any cream products. So I wanted to add a little bit more depth to Hula so I took my Anastasia contour kit and I took the color Java and Havana with the same brush. I just feel like it makes a difference. I really like layering different contour products or like different bronzers. The last bronzer product I used was the Milani 05 in the color Soleil. 
With a stipple brush, just very lightly applying that everywhere where I applied the other two colors. For blush, I took Milani's Teal Rose Blush. And I'm just going to be baking, as always, underneath my contour. And for highlight, I took Laura Geller's Gilded Honey and Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. And after a couple minutes, I just dusted off all the powder. Moving back to the eyes, I took the color Sable and Espresso from the Lorac palette with a small pencil brush. And I'm just going to be smoking out my lower lash line. And going back in with the same blending brush I was using, I was kind of squishing it just to make sure it was nice and blended. And for my inner corner highlight, I took the Mary Luminizer and just adding some mascara to my lower lashes. After that, I moved to the eyebrows and I'm just gonna be filling them in off camera, but I just used powder. And for lips, I mixed this little cocktail. So starting off with the Jordana Rock and Rose lip liner. And for lipstick, I took the NYX lingerie in the color Ruffle Trum, I believe. I don't really remember on the top of my head, but I'll have everything down in the description box, so make sure to check that out. And to mute down the color a little bit, I took the Anastasia Liquid Lip in the color Pure Hollywood and just made sure everything was nice and blended with my finger. And to clean up any mistakes I might have done, I took some concealer to make sure everything was nice and neat. And to set my brows, I took the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And I also like to take this on my baby hairs. It just saves me some time from getting the gel or like some spray. And it does a pretty good job. And that, my loves, was a finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe and like. Bye!